Hey loves, it's your girl Pink here and I wanted to share with you guys today this beautiful Brahmin satchel. It's the glossy leather Melbourne collection satchel and that's the price tag. If you guys recall when I was on my way to Jackson, on the way out, I did get this in the mail. I ordered it from Mercari and I think the total was $160 if I'm not mistaken. Um, so guys, if you can believe it or not, I have not used this bag. Obviously, it still has a tag on it. Since the day that I unboxed it for you guys, I never put anything in it to get out and, you know, use it. And I'm thinking maybe because initially I felt like this color would be more suitable for fall. Um... Not that I necessarily stick to that specific mantra when it comes to handbags, but I, for some reason, um, I guess as the summer goes along, I start grabbing my pink bags. And so when I put my Never Full up, I started switching into lighter colors. And uh, this is what I've been carrying around for the past week or so, I would say. I've had a couple of subbies to ask me questions about this and it kind of made me and people saying oh i just bought this you know and they watched my review on it so it kind of made me gravitate towards it a little bit um especially since i did just rehome my speedy 30. um but i do have another louis vuitton bag that i plan on purchasing pre-owned and i'll share that of course with you guys once i get it so basically i'm wearing this and i started thinking to myself i really want to when I was looking in the closet today. I really want to wear this bag. Um, this was the one that I wanted to go for when I pulled this one out. But I was like, I don't even know what all fits in here or how it looks on or anything like that. So I just wanted to go ahead and switch into it today, um, get a feel for it and share that with you guys. This is, uh, hold on one second guys. This is my Brahmin dust bag. And I did get this dust bag from Dillard's from my sales associate that I buy a lot of my bags from. It did not come with the dust bag, even though it was um, brand new, still had the tags on it. So, all right, guys, I'm just going to take the stuffing out. And I'll Okay, loves, here is this beautiful bag, empty. Um, the only thing inside are these little um, silicone dry packs. Um and this bag smells like a brand new car on the inside it is that microfiber it feels like a brand new sofa um or piece of furniture i actually had a chair that was um made just like this and i did take it to a consignment shop when i moved but um in the back zipper here is your um, registration card and it has the Brahmin guarantee on there um beautiful awesome 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 quality and craftsmanship um, a lot of the aspects of you know these brands Brahmin and um Thune and Burt and this is the Olivia satchel guys equally I'll be 100% honest the price points obviously are much better on um these bags like Brahmin's and Thune and Burt's um, even though some of them can get a little pricey as well, you know, so All right, I'm gonna go ahead and see what I'll fix in here. I have not been able to use This is a new cosmetic bag. I got from fossil and it was so cute. I got it from the outlet for 12 bucks um, Awesome quality. I love this right here a whole whole lot and I was thinking about getting the Louis Vuitton small little uh, makeup bag this size, but I was like, let me Put this, you know, go ahead and grab this one and put this one to use first and see if I like it because I'm so used to using my pochette and it is, you know, more north south. But guys, this will not even fit in my Olivia satchel, so I'm not even going to attempt to put it in here. So basically, I've just been taking my makeup bag with me and sitting it on the front seat of the car. And when we go places, I just, you know, have it with me. So, I do think that I'm going to reserve this bag for fall, but I do want to go ahead and switch into it and see how it looks on and all of that. So, I'm going to go this ahead and... what the Olivia satchel looks like on the inside. 
and again i did a review on this bag probably a year ago to the month you know what i mean so um a year later i can honestly say this bag looks just the same way it did on day one I love this coated cotton so much because it's water resistant um it keeps its shape and its form and this one has been reinforced on the bottom and the sides are very firm as well it's not as slouchy oh i have something right there too it's not as slouchy um and as flimsy as a speedy bag these handles even a year later and with good good use last year these handles still kind of stand up a little bit um, guys, I don't know if you remember my Dunyanberg Montecito leather bag, but I did just um, sell that one today. That's what I was taking to the post office, and I'll insert a picture of it so you guys can see. All right, but this one is a fave, especially considering the fact that it has this crossbody strap on, and it has two side pockets for easy access. So it's almost like getting a Louis Vuitton bandolier um, speedy bag, and I would say this one is similar i guess in size to the 30 but for some reason maybe because it's so structured for some reason it feels much much tighter so i'm gonna go ahead and switch some of these things into here and i'll show you guys how they look okay guys so i was able to um fit more inside of here than i'm able to fit inside of the olivia satchel surprisingly um what i did do was i took my never full pouch out i didn't keep that one in here because i do notice that with bigger bags like the never fulls yes you do want a lot of little pouches and little con you know containers and cosmetic bags and stuff like that but honestly i think that it took up too much space in here but i don't know why maybe because the mouth of this one is bigger but it fits more and I can see my things better so I am gonna consider carrying this one because even though I do look at it as more of a fall bag it is light enough to pass for um, a summer or spring bag and it has a short little key leash on here that I did attach my little fossil keychain and my Honda car key to so it looks like this on the inside so basically i did just sit my cosmetic bag right on the top but it actually fits in here and i don't understand that again maybe it's the fact that this one is um that it opens up wider i didn't put anything in any of these pockets because i just wanted to see what it looks like for now but if i do actually switch into it which i do think that i am then i'm gonna stick my phone in here and my key holder inside of here Right now, I just have everything just kind of tossed inside, and I didn't do anything in any specific order. Um, I put my eyeglasses back in their original case, which I never, ever really use, and I've had my glasses for four years now. But I just went ahead and started putting them in the case while they were in my never full bag. And so I put the case in here, my PM agenda, of course, my wallet, my sunglasses case, and I think there's one more thing. This small little, hold on guys, small little coin case, the vintage one I shared in my SLG video, and that is all, well, my key holder. So everything is just kind of randomly situated in here, and it, the funny thing is, is that I've actually discovered that this bag has more space. Oh, I have my little perfume um, samples inside of here. I have some Jo Malone samples and some um, Chanel samples. And so I'm going to stick these in this little bag. And this is such a nice quality, smell good, feel good bag. And guys, I do think that I'm going to go ahead and switch into it. I'm going to pop the tag now, as a matter of fact. So, tag is off. Um, I don't know I resell a lot of them. And so, sometimes I keep the tags on the inside for customers so that they can have the registration tags themselves. And it looks like they just kind of clasp this strap on um, anywhere. 
um, not specifically in any place. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back. I just wanted to undo it. So guys, I've been wanting a crossbody and I've been looking at all these different bags from different companies, um, Dooney and Berg, Louis Vuitton, and different other bags and thinking, you know, I'll get a crossbody, even Brahman. I was looking at a Brahman crossbody. Um, I still haven't loved my Michael Kors crossbody, but I was just like, I want something every day that I can toss on and I have been sleeping on my own closet missing out. Look at these beautiful pleats. Um, maybe if this was pink or purple or blue or something like that, I probably would have gravitated towards it a long time ago. But I am in it now and I'm going to officially switch. So, um, yeah, guys, I just shocked my own closet and found a bag and I'm in love. So, okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and do a my shot and wrap five, these guys. And sometimes I think I'm five, four. <laughs> I am so in love with this bag. This is so crazy. I really like, I've been overlooking this and sleeping on this. Look at this beautiful gold detail and all of these cute little pleats. And of course the croco style look and you know, the fact that it has this little dog leash. I am like so excited right now guys. Like I'm like, I feel like I just left Dillard's or Macy's and I just got a new bag. And so yeah, I can fit my cosmetic bag in here, which is another plus. So, um, yeah, I don't know why the Olivia satchel um, doesn't fit the things in there the same way this one does. Again, I'm thinking it's the structure um, aspect of it. So, I don't know, but guys, I am so happy right now, okay? So, this one, again, was a brand new purchase from Macari. If you are a Brahmin fan... Make sure you check Poshmark, Macari, and different sites like that because people do rehome them, and I've seen them in great conditions for at least half off the prices in Macy's and Dillard's. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching me switch into my satchel. I hope you guys are having an awesome, fabulous Monday, and your week is off to a great start. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Peace and namaste.